What's up everyone? This is Kevin Haslam, publisher concierge at Locable, and we're going to show you today how to make a newsletter in MailChimp. Uh, so there's two ways you could do it. Um, the first is to just create a campaign flat out, so we'll just go to the right hand side and go to create campaign. So we're going to go ahead and use the AB split campaign for this example. So you just go to the right hand side and hit select. And uh, as you can see here, you can choose what you want to test. So we'll test the subject lines and the test segment percentage, which is basically, you know, what percentage you want to send it to first. So in the first hour, we want to select instead of the first day, we're going to send to 20%. And uh, whichever subject line wins, that'll be sent to the rest of the 80% after that first hour. So we'll go ahead and click next to go to the next page and we'll choose our list. Simple enough there. We'll click next again. And this brings us to uh, name your campaign, and we're going to test the subject line. So you can see um, we use some some good buzzwords here that are going to get people to uh, be interested. So words like just, uh, words like go, you know, words like that are actionable and have a sense of urgency. Information, wonderful, content, important. Those are all good subject line words as well. Um, so once we have the two subject lines, we'll go to the template. And you can choose any of these templates. Um, and the initial setup is fairly simple uh, with the drag and drop interface. So you can go ahead and just select the template. You could always come back and, and choose a new template if you don't like the one that you chose. Uh, so we'll just load this template here. And as you can see, this is sort of you know where you base your, your design off of. And, and there's different modules here on the right-hand side. So there's text blocks, image blocks, um, you know, box text, dividers, stuff like that, and you can drag and drop them anywhere into the template, either the header, the body text, the, the uh, footer, um, and then once you do, um, you have a new block there, and you can either edit it, delete it, um, drop photos in, or, or whatever it may be. So now we're going to go to the other method of creating a, a newsletter, and that's replicating it from a previous report. Uh, or a previous campaign or a previous newsletter. So just uh, click that arrow there on the report or newsletter campaign that you want to replicate and click replicate. You'll again choose your list, same as last time, and input your uh, campaign name and subject lines and all that stuff. And make sure that everything's good before you go ahead and click next. And the next screen that pops up instead of choosing your template is last week's design. Uh, or the last newsletter design. So as you can see here, we have a beautiful design for uh, the in this issue of this publisher concierge client. Uh, and it follows a, a very simple format, but it's it's pleasing to the eye, both uh, on the desktop and mobile versions. So first we'll work on the ads, and there's two ways to change an image here in MailChimp. The first is by uploading. So you'll go ahead and click that pencil icon there to uh, edit the box, and you'll see that we have some options here um, for this box. So we'll go ahead and replace the image because the ads change week to week for this client. And we'll go to, uh, we won't go to import from URL, we'll do that later. Uh, we're gonna go to upload, and I'll grab that from uh, my ads folder on my desktop. And I'll just grab the ad, go click it and click open. It'll upload the image and put it right into the block for us. Uh, the other thing that we wanna do is make sure we change the link since it's a new advertiser. Uh, so we just copy that link um, and paste it in there. And now that ad goes to that URL. Uh, so once we're done, we'll go ahead and edit the actual body, the email. Um, so again, we'll just click in there, and we want to change the picture. So the first thing we do is go back to files to change this week's uh, uh, picture, and this time we're going to import it from the URL. And so we're going to go to the actual page where the picture is, and we're going to right-click. You can see that's the ITI. So we're going to right-click, and we're going to hit Copy Image URL. And we'll go back into MailChimp and hit import into URL, and paste it in. You'll see there's a little bit of junk there at the end. Uh, we want to get rid of that. Locable uses uh, that as an image identifier, I believe. Um, so we just want to get rid of that because MailChimp's not going to recognize that file type. So we just want to get it to the file extension, which in this case is .jpg, or it could be a .png, or uh, something of that nature, and you'll hit import. And that's going to go ahead and upload it straight from the web. And it's going to change the dimensions to its true size. So you just want to make sure um, that you want to get, I like to use 350 for this particular box and keep the proportions. And then we want to copy and paste the new URL uh, so that when you hover over or click the link, um, it'll take you to the, the ITI page. So now that we have that done, we want to change the main body text there. So we're going to uh, just usually copy and paste that straight from the ITI or the in this issue. And we'll get rid of this text and paste it in. 
and so as you can see there we have our new text and the other thing uh, that you can do in the body text here is change links or add links so you just want to um, find your links from the previous week make sure they're all up to date you'll highlight the link um, and change it to this week's edition just by clicking that little link button there at the top and then you'll paste in your new link your new URL do that for the same um, link there later in the paragraph and we're all set so uh, once we're happy with that text then we can go down to the, the featured digital articles as, as I like to call it and uh, this is a different type of text box so there's two captions there the caption one is on the left and the caption two is on the right and that determines what you're editing uh, so we'll just edit caption one for now for uh, for this example and we want to replace the photo like we did before so um, we will head up to the or actually go back to the ITI and, and find the story uh, and you want to your top stories want to be compelling and, and timely but they also want to have photos too so this one here the Kenneth Square man charged in death of Chad's Ford woman that one is is very important it, it happened just this week in this market um, so that's the one we're going to use um, for our top story on the left hand side um, and so when we're ready to edit that we'll just go ahead and grab it there it is so we're gonna copy that URL from the photo and import it like we did before and click import and then we'll change the link to and then we just wanna get the headline down Kenneth Square Man Charged in Death of Chad's Ford Woman. And we'll link that out too by linking the text like we did before. And you just want to make sure, uh, I would say a good recommendation for the digital issue is six to eight featured stories. Uh, and once you're done and once you're happy with what you see there on the page, then you just go ahead and click Next and then you'll go through your checklist so you want to make sure that everything has a green check mark next to it our subject lines are good our, our list is good uh, the one thing that you'll have to change each week if you're replicating you won't have to do this if you create a new campaign is the plain text email uh, you'll just go ahead and click edit regenerate from HTML and then save and that's just going to make sure that everyone uh, that receives plain text receives the right email uh, don't worry about social cards or monkey rewards you should be fine by uh, skipping those steps and if you want to take a look and, and uh, make sure that everything's right, just go ahead and go up to the uh, preview and test button. You can either send a test email to yourself or enter preview mode, which is what I like to do. And that gives you a preview of both the uh, mobile version and the desktop version. You can just go ahead and, and scroll over all of the um, photos and links, make sure they're linking out to the right thing, and make sure you don't have any typos and stuff like that. You can also click the links and see. So there you can see we were pulling up our ITI, and it worked, so we're happy about that. And um, you'll just scroll, th scroll through your newsletter and make sure that everything looks good. And once it does, then you are done. You're ready to go. So we'll go ahead and exit preview mode. And you can either send or schedule. So we're going to schedule this one right now uh, for 1230 p.m. Eastern time. And you want to make sure just whenever you're scheduling, if you're doing an A-B split test, um, you want to make sure that you have, a, have accounted for the time that you're... Uh, that you're allotting to the split test. So if it's an hour, uh, we want to make sure that 1.30 is still a good time for the rest of the list to receive it. And uh, so once we determine that, then we'll go ahead and schedule the campaign. And the campaign is scheduled. So we're ready to rock and roll for 12 and 30. And that's it. That's how you make a newsletter in MailChimp. Once again, this is Kevin Haslam, publisher concierge locable. Thanks for listening, and uh, we'll see you next time.